the most important factor about coaching is making sure that the client realizes it himself. Because otherwise, it's just going to be empty advice and people only act on things that they come up with on their own. Hi, I'm Philip Thieu, your host for Online Trading Summit, and I'm excited to introduce to you Celeste Rodriguez, our presenter for this session. Celeste is a stock trader, licensed broker, writer, and vlogger, and also the trading psychology coach of a FTMO, a proprietary trading firm in the Philippines. To add on to her responsibility, she also took on the role as ZFT's uh, growth hacker while being put in charge of the marketing department. Despite starting off her professional career as a cardiology nurse, Celeste made the transition into trading the financial markets and since 2018, she has touched the lives of many people around the world through her live programs, webinars, writings and blogs. A lot of traders get the beat of what strategy they want to work for them, but they seem to have trouble sticking to the plan. No matter how many hours they work on that plan, in the moment of battle or in the moment of the trade, they seem to deviate from it. There's a lot of issues regarding this, and trading psychology, I feel, works on that a lot. There is a gap between knowing what to do and doing what you know, just in a lot of cases in life, in diet or in exercise, in, in things like the academic. There's so many things that we know cerebrally, but we can't seem to transfer to how we execute things. And the common common uh, culprit that has always been blamed for years is, is the trader's emotions and the trader's lack of discipline. But I'm here to, to talk about the fact that sometimes it's not emotions, it's not discipline, it's, it's your personality and the mismatch between your trading style. Is there any methods to help you diagnose and see whether uh, mm -hmm. your performance, your drop in performance is due to a trading edge? Is it simply due to the nature of a market condition changing or is it due to your trading psychology? How do you actually reconcile uh, what might be actually the real issue here? But this is why it's really important to have a journal. And the thing is, a lot of traders go, well, not a lot, but the beginning traders, uh, they record their price entry and exit, you know, stuff like that, but they don't really record their emotions. They don't record their emotions. They don't record the things, the factors that are affecting them, which is then affecting their trading. And we don't really, we can't pinpoint without this data. So it's important to have data first. You have to record everything because if not, we're just going to be blindly guessing which was which. Was which. Um, so for example, if it's your trading though, another factor is, is it just because of the market cycle? So there's a lot of things that we can only answer if we have data.